What's up? Tony from LearnAutoBodyInPaint.com and uh, I just want to say thanks for watching this short video on cutting wheels, grinders, and jigsaws and stuff like that for automotive body and paint. I just got a, uh, a question from a VIP member about this stuff and I thought it was pretty valuable so I decided to make a video blog post about this and uh, to talk about it for the newbies. So uh, the, the main question was Tony, what grit cutoff wheel do I need uh, when I want to cut my body kit down? So let me explain to you, cutoff wheels and grinding discs like this don't really come in uh, like a grit like sandpaper. Uh, it's mostly by the material you're going to cut, right? So metal, wood, fiberglass, that's how you order it and you also get it by the thickness. So this is a 3 three sixteenths thickness here by 3 inch in uh, diameter with a 3 8 hole. That's how you would order these cutting wheels. And for basic auto body and paint automotive stuff, if you have your little angle cutoff wheel like this, uh, you want to get this size, a 3 16 and you want to get the metal type so it can cut metal. So this way you can cut your, uh, your body kits, which is fiberglass, very easily. And you can also cut the metal on your doors or what if you're doing a Lambo door kit or if you're doing some type of fender modification, cutting out grills. This stuff is perfect for cutting out um, automotive body parts, you know, the panels and stuff, all right? This is just a large, like a stone grinder, okay? You could grind large welds and stuff with it. You could also cut with it. So let me just basically show you how to replace these discs, all right? So it's just pretty simple. As you, as you use these, you can see that it wears down. Look at the size difference here. Okay, so as you cut, they automatically wear down. And I've had them down like as far as here before, you know, all the way down. So I'll show you how to replace these right now. But we'll just take this apart quick. You just want to give it a good hold. Just a basic screwdriver. Crack it. Okay. And this uh, comes out. Then you just put your new one on. Pretty simple. All right, this is the 3 8 size here. And uh, you just pop it in like that. Give it a good tighten. And you're good to go. Just like that. Pretty easy. And as you cut your panels and stuff, right, um, this is just going to wear down to something like this or even smaller. Uh, they're about a dollar to a dollar fifty each. Uh, you can get them in a pack like this, a pack of fifty or a hundred depending on how much you want to spend and uh, it's very very good stuff for basic auto body fabrication customization body kit work um, you know cutting out panels and stuff like that good stuff all right so I hope you kind of learned something here I have a, a porter cable jigsaw here you could put metal blades on here for a jigsaw and it's just another type of cutting tool where you could just cut into jams and cut areas out it comes in handy uh, with this. I actually got this pair at a, at a local swap meet maybe about eight years ago. Pretty cheap. I, I don't think I paid more than 50 or 60 bucks for the set. And uh, I mean nowadays with Harbor Freight you can get them really cheap if you're on a budget. Alright so pretty cool stuff. Uh, I hope you learned something. Uh, share the video if you liked it. Like it. Uh, comment below if you're on uh, YouTube. And uh, I also have an 85 page ebook on automotive customization and painting A through Z. So if you click the link below, you go to my blog post on the site and uh, you'll have a chance to put your name and email in and get a free download of this amazing auto body and paint book absolutely free. So there's a lot of cool stuff in there. I hope you like it. I will see you at learnautobodyandpaint.com. Have a great day. Bye-bye.